There comes a time in every person's life where a certain question must be asked and today that question is going to be answered. And that question is, could I paint a picture with a remote control racing car if I mechanically attached a brush to the back of it? Is that, is that just a question I ask or? G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and in today's art challenge, I'm going to attempt to use this modded remote control racing car to paint a picture. I don't even know what the picture is gonna be yet, but I have a giant canvas, a huge top down camera, and to add to the level of challenge I'll be dealing with today, I'm gonna to be doing it from behind that curtain. I'll show you the setup we have behind the curtain. If you'll follow me. Step into my office. This is the official control room. And this is the only place that I'll be able to look at what I'm doing. I can see my little top <laughs> down camera with my racing car. And uh, this is gonna be my window into the canvas. Speaking of which, this video is, as you might have guessed, sponsored by LG, who have provided this gorgeous ultra-wide monitor that I'll be using in this video. This is LG's beautiful, immersive, 38-inch curved ultra-wide WQHD IPS display. Now, while in this video I'm using the monitor for more mischievous purposes, I've had time to use this beast for video edits and productivity work, and I can say that it's hands down the best monitor I have ever used practically and aesthetically. The 3840 by 1600 resolution gives a brilliant wide stage for working in timeline programs like video editing and audio editing as well as for general productivity with huge amounts of room to spread your working windows out. Now just a little bit about the display, it's HDR10 and sRGB 99% so the colours and the refresh rate are fantastic and along with your usual monitor inputs you can use it as a laptop monitor with a USB USB Type-C cable. It features three-side borderless design and comes with an attractive and practical stand that supports various tilt and height adjustments. It's a huge step up from anything I've ever experienced. So if you're looking for an ultimate desktop and working and gaming display, I can definitely recommend this thing. The links are in the description, so go check it out. <sighs> okay, let's, let's try and tackle this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in getting started, I want to introduce you to someone who's going to be on the other side of the curtains today, being my helper where I cannot interact with my canvas. Rachel, come on in and say hi for a second. Rachel's gonna help me change batteries where they need to be changed and fill paint where it needs to be filled. And uh, if everything goes totally wrong, she could probably just pick up the brush and paint the rest of the picture for me and I'll just sort of opt out. Now I don't need to panic because I have like three hours. So uh, it's all good peeps. I got all the time in the world to make an epic artwork. I'm still really nervous. <laughs> I'm backing in. This is the first dip, you ready? All right. Oh, oh, is that a good dip? Yeah! Dip, dip, baby! I uh, dipped without knowing what to paint. Uh, I should definitely do a landscape because landscapes are full of like flaws and bumps and... <laughs> yep, landscape it is. Don't tip over, car. Don't tip over on me. Okay, you ready? Whoa! Oh my God! That works amazingly well! <laughs> what the hell? This is so good. Why don't more people do this? Dip, dip, baby! Oh no, I'm dripping! No, it's okay, they're, uh, they're, um, it's pollen. <laughs> Floating pollen. Am I dragging paint around with the wheels? Uh-oh, I am. There's gonna be so much pollen in this <laughs> picture. All right, this is a valley. So it's gonna go down, and then it's gonna go back up again. Oh, look at that! I love it! Hey, Rach, could you set up one of the heaters just so that the paint I put down dries and I don't drag it around too much. Thank you, Rachel. Would that be a lesson to you? If you ever have an ambitious and stupid art project, bring a friend. Let them do the dirty work. You can just play with race cars. Beep, 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 beep. Dip. Oh my God, I'm so efficient. All right, what next? I feel like we need a tree. <laughs> Is it just me or um? Am I really good at this? <laughs> I'm getting way too cocky, way too fast. The turning circle on this car is not great. So I have to like do lines in parts. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, there'll be a branch there, but I'm gonna need to re-dip. 
Ah, I'm really glad we we stuck the paint container down because otherwise it would have been spilled everywhere by now. You know, the shadow of the brush is helping me out the most here because I can see how close the brush is to the to the canvas. This tree tapers quite a lot. <laughs> it's got a very thin trunk. That area is not dry, is it? No, I just oh no! Ah! Um, this is texture. I'm texturing my tree. Oh, oh. Oh boy, there we go, there we go. Turn it, turn it this way. Ah, oh, beautiful! Sometimes I feel like this is the easiest thing in the world and then sometimes I feel like this is the hardest thing I've ever done. It's definitely looking abstract. Oh no! Ah! It's okay, it's abstract, doesn't matter. I'm in line, I'm in line. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, ah, beautiful! There we go! <laughs> I go through these fluctuations of like being super careful and then doing a good job and then I get way overconfident and then do a terrible job. <laughs> I need to like be, I need to steady myself. Just get in a zen. Look at that! Yes! <laughs> Oh, I love my job. The canvas looks a little bit like someone just shoved a bunch of charcoal up their nose and then sneezed. <laughs> I've only gotten so far as thinking of a horizon and a tree. Oh, I know. What if we do like one of those cool like, like Japanese like, like gate things. I know there's a word for them. I just can't think of it right now. I'm going to add some perspective. It's going to be on an angle because I'm feeling confident. <laughs> Why is it that doing this with the screen instead of actually watching it in person, why does that feel like more fun? In a way, it almost feels like I can be more accurate because I have like a, a non-moving, really like clear, pixel perfect way of actually seeing what's happening. All right, easy does it. I've got all the time in the world. Got a slight perspective angle here. That's good. Let's maintain that. And up. Oh. Oh, I forgot to shake it. My wife thinks I'm really good at backing in the trailer. I guess maybe it's like the same sort of skill. If you're really good at backing a trailer, you can probably paint with, with a remote control car. We just need a little edge there. Ah, there we go. That's all we need. Okay. Straight back. There we go. Straight back. Okay. Oh, yes! <laughs> Woo! Rachel? Yeah. Am I a crazy person? Or am I just... Yeah, this is pretty cool. The tricky thing is I'm like upside down and I keep doing getting the directions wrong. I bet you it'll help if I do this. It sort of does. <laughs> do, 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 do. You can construct an orchestra with this. Hang on, you ready? Ah! Do, 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 do. do, do. All right, we've got uh, another poll to do. Let's do the poll. I love polls, as you guys know. I'll let it dry, we'll come back to it. I'm gonna add another line of perspective under there just to, to, to get a little fancy on you. Do you know what I wanna do? I wanna solidify the horizon here. So I'm basically gonna go over the whole thing again, which is gonna require a bit of accuracy, but I, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. <laughs> we have to take this really slowly. Oh my God. I am a god! And it's a little thin over there, so let's do the same thing. Oh my god, this is so intense. And yet, this is the greatest experience of my life. That's pretty good. I feel like I've solidified my horizon. Now let's go back and add some perspective under that, that, uh, that gate of ours. Hey Rachel, this is really important. Can you Google what those Japanese gate things are called? I feel like I'm big culturally insensitive. Tori? Is that what's called? A Tori. T-O-R-I? T O R I. What? T O R I I. Oh, okay. Tori. Life is a highway. I will ride it all night long. This is a Tori. See? Now I'm being accurate. Oh, there's two things. Crap. The Tori has like two gate things. All right, I'm gonna do another top bit. If we're gonna be culturally accurate, gotta go the full nine yards. Is that the saying? Nine yards? Rach, can you Google how many yards the saying is? Is it nine? <laughs> All right, it's nine yards. The full nine yards. Good, glad I'm being professional. 
Bam! Oh god, Rachel, I'm pretty good! Rachel, on a scale of 1 to 10, how cocky do I sound? I don't, I don't know, I feel like I've earned it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'll go read it. If in doubt, read it. If at first you don't dip, dip, dip again. <laughs> Life is a canvas. I'm gonna paint on it all night long. Uh, ah. Time to redip. How's my dip? That's a good dip. Good dip. Dip, dip, dipping, dip. Good, good dipping's good. Words are not my thing today. But painting with a road control car is. <sighs> I need, I need, a, I need, a, I, need a, I need to be humble. I need to be humble because there are people watching this who maybe have tried to paint with a remote control car and their dreams were dashed. Maybe I should instead be a beacon of hope rather than arrogance. <laughs> if you believe in yourself and you work hard enough, anything's possible. So to get the perspective right, I'm just going to follow this line and we just keep that line going. Then we just keep it going. All right, same thing. Follow the line. Follow the line, the line, the line. Follow the line. That actually looks like a, what was the name of the thing again? Tori. Tori. That actually looks like a Tori. This is it. Oh yeah. I really am not intending to sound sexual. Oh, I'm just painting. All right, so these are, these are my railroad tracks. I've got to follow my railroad tracks. Got to get to the station. In my railroad metaphor. Ah, choo choo. Did I just say choo choo unironically? <laughs> I feel like that. Whoa! Forgot to lock in my seat. I feel like that's the Tory done. Let's finish off the tree and then add some final mountains off in the distance and add a few more intentional cherry blossoms. Let's have that branch off into some more little branches. Okay, this way. Ready? And. Did you see how much finesse I just did that with? Does that sort of look like a tree? It sort of looks like a tree. I don't know if I've made it look more like a tree than it looked before, but <laughs> I'm adding to it. Just back into it. There we go, forward. Easy. See, just like a trailer, sort of. All right, let's, let's regroup. Let's look at our canvas. Let's soak it in. We have a Tory and a tree lots of cherry blossoms floating in the air with pollen mixed in a horizon sort of let's do some mountains in the background and let's in the foreground do a rock i'll do a rock man bob ross eat your heart out this is the real joy of painting right here dip and shake it off shake it off shake it off ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm having fun with like the landscape stuff. I feel like I need another a thick line that's just gonna go like that. Let's do that. I'm gonna start off with a light line and it's gonna get heavier. I have pressure sensitivity with this thing. I just push it all the way down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh crap, now I have to turn around. There we go, okay. Okay. Oh, look at that beautiful thick line. Look at it. And then I'll gently lift the brush. There you go. And lighter. And oh my god! <laughs> just need a little line, like right here. Just a little line, right there. <laughs> Let's do a rock and some intentional cherry blossoms. Oh god! Oh wait, that looks pretty good. Yep, that's good. Oh, look at that, nice and solid. There we go. That's, uh, that'll do, that's sort of a rock. <laughs> All right, the very last thing I need to do is litter this whole piece with cherry blossoms flowing through the wind. And I believe this is just the, that final detail that is gonna turn this into a complete masterpiece. They're not very graceful cherry blossoms. Whoa, whoa, that's a very big cherry blossom. Oh no, I've ruined it. Cherry. Oh God. Oh, this is it. This is the last dip, ladies and gentlemen. The last dip and then we're done with this masterpiece. Dip. Oh, that was a good dip. Shake off. Wait, shake it off out here. Shake it off out here. <laughs> there we go. Look, little cherry blossoms everywhere. 
<laughs> this is it, we're finishing it. I can't believe this worked. I can't believe this worked. This is the dumbest idea I've ever come up with. And yet it's the best thing I've ever made. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I made that. I made that. With a remote control car and a brush attached to the back. <laughs> Let's uh, let's go take a look at this thing in person, shall we? Oh my goodness, that's way bigger than I actually felt like it was. I'm used to looking at like the the screen, which is huge in front of me, but at the same time, the whole perspective was solid. This is like, this is massive. This could be like a really efficient way of painting large spaces. I should totally patent this. <laughs> this this was so much fun. Look at look at that. Here you go, the tree. I should name this piece. Let's call it uh, the Cherry Blossom Hurricane. Because we've, <laughs> we've got quite a few cherry blossoms flowing aggressively in the wind. Uh, some of them intentional and some of them, I guess, uh, you'd say a little less than intentional. So ladies and gentlemen, we started off today with a question, can it be done? I feel like the answer has been provided. Yes, it can be done. Should it be done is it totally different question, but I don't like to ask those questions. Now, of course, a huge thank you to LG for sponsoring this video. The ultra wide monitor that I use today is absolutely sublime. You saw me use it for a, a less practical use case, but for productivity and especially things that I love like video editing, the amount of utility and resolution and wide display for timelines and productivity is incredible. There's so much that can be done on it and that's just from a productivity standpoint. Then you've got gaming and of course awesome epic and ultra wide movies. The colors, the refresh rate, all of it is just the top of the line. This thing is incredible. So if you're looking for the absolute best monitor for your projects, be they conventional or unconventional, I can definitely recommend the LG ultra wide monitor. I'll put the link in the description and in the card. Now, I should also mention that if the 38 inch ultra wide curved LG display has piqued your interest, head on over to my vlog channel. I'll put a link in the card and in the description where I unboxed and showed off the use of this thing. So you can see it, how it arrives and how it sets up. And of course, my own personal first impressions and how I found it to use. And before we go, of course, Rachel, I want to thank you so much for your help today. You've been amazing. It's been a five hour setup to film this today and having you on hand both to set up and during the filming and to, to Google what the, the, the um, what is it again? Tori? Tori. See, couldn't have done that without you. <laughs> Thank you for watching and make sure to of course hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and, uh, and what, what else could they do? What else could, what else could they do on YouTube? Demand Larry episode three. I'm cutting that out. <laughs> make sure to subscribe for more fun with art. That's it for now and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, I'll see you later. <laughs> see you later. Perfect. Ah. Nailed it. What is, what is up with you today? <laughs> God damn it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.